Hi, it's Mike from Health Newswires. Here to talk to you today about blood sugar level and blood pressure, the connection between the two. Stay tuned. At the end of this short report, I'm going to show you a free download to start controlling your blood sugar right away, reducing your risk of high blood pressure. So it appears that people with type 1 diabetes are much like much less likely to suffer from high blood pressure if they keep a tight blood sugar control for an extended period of time. So diabetics are more likely to have high blood pressure. Researchers from the University of Washington took a look at the impacts of high blood sugar and insulin treatment on the advancement of hypertension in diabetics. What they found was that diabetics that obtained insulin therapy of at the least at the very least, three treatments a day, or as an insulin pump, had a 24% decrease in the danger of high blood pressure compared with diabetics that received traditional insulin procedures. Uh, this is a, was a difference that was only noted in long-term treatment. The result of this research suggests that high blood sugar contributes to the development of high blood pressure in diabetics, and the effect of Intensive insulin th therapy on blood pressure uh, occurs over a relatively long period of time. As you may or may not know, type 1 diabetes cannot be avoided, and doctors struggle to even tell who can get it and who can't. And uh, no one really understands why or what triggers, triggers type 1 diabetes, uh, but we assume it has something to do with genetics. Um, and also it takes something like a virus or some kind of illness to, to facilitate the, the generation of, of type 1 diabetes. However, it doesn't mean it can't be managed, and uh, type 1 diabetes it, management is composed of uh, blood glucose control and insulin management, exercise, and healthy nutrition. You're also looking at on your screen, four sneaky tricks to lower your blood sugar. This is a great free downloadable resource that talks about blood glucose management and insulin resistance management. Uh, it shows foods that you can start eating today. Uh, they're easily available in your grocery store that will lower your blood sugar. It includes a number of exercises that reduce insulin sensitivity. It shows uh, the number one worst carbohydrate that you could eat that spikes your blood sugar to unbelievable levels. And best of all, you can start these tips and techniques today. It's free. Click on the download and take advantage of the four sneaky tricks to lower your blood sugar. Thanks for listening. This is Mike from Health Newswires.